Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uncle EG back for Split 11 of the Madness Retaliation Speedrun Tutorial. 100% um, category. Uh, the Tricky Fight. So, uh, he's the he's the third boss out of four. And um, he's he's got some, some weird things, some, some funky properties about him that in a casual playthrough would make this a very difficult boss, but... Um, with some careful dissection of, of how he works and um, what makes him tick, uh, we um, we can we can take care of this fight pretty easy, easy peasy. So uh, let's let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. We got our guys in meta equipment here. So there's the man, the man, the myth, the legend. So um, first thing you might take notice of is uh, just this giant energy bar in the back or, or just how this is laid out so um, let me let me explain each of those so this is basically uh, all these guys have three armor class two of them Bren guns two of them shotguns these guys are dangerous um, but we actually don't care about them at all this is just a three armor class 128 health sponge for all we care um, what we're really after here is tricky um, so, um, here, his, his health bar works as followed, or follows, so, he, he has this energy bar where, like, w once you deal a certain amount of damage to him, uh, he, he kind of, like, does this animation where, here, let me, let me demonstrate, so, um, in this case, in, in the first section of, of his health bar, uh, he takes, I think it's 10 to 12 damage. I'm pretty sure it's 12. Uh, but let's, let's just do that. So we do 12 damage with the hook. Uh, because the last hit on that section of health was with a melee weapon, he took a quarter of his energy bar in damage. So his, his energy bar is kind of like his, uh, his, like, transformations. Uh, there's, like technically like a bunch of different trickies that you kill but it's it's like um like once once you've essentially killed all the trickies in a sense uh, then the fight is over but they um you have to kill less trickies if you use melee for the final attack on on the current tricky, if that makes any sense. It's 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 really weird. But the first one takes 12. So we hook three times, and then um, because it's smoked and we can't really hit him again, we're going to move away to safety. Um, Quote-unquote safety, standing right next to this Bren gun guy. But um, then what we're going to do is... Um, because this second tricky that, that, that comes down actually only has five health, and the axe does five damage, we're going to move in, and we're going to have seven tries to swing through, uh, swing to hit him through the smoke, to get him down to half health on the first turn. So, and it worked. So what we're actually going to do is, um, we're going to move this guy, now that he's done his job, uh, far away. Just to not become a victim of clownage. And then we're going to flash. Uh, we're going to pray that these guys don't do anything to poor old Sanford over here. Uh, if they do, um, kind of screwed. It's kind of the RNG of this fight, but it is it is what it is. And uh, we're just going to keep the melee guys far off so we can uh, end each tricky in um, in a melee hit. Um, that, that, that animation just basically, it doesn't do any damage or anything, he just comes through, puts you in a random, or like a, in a certain spot, uh, drops you in a spot, and, and he pops up somewhere. I, I think there's like different specific areas, because I know the first, uh, tricky that drops after you do the first 12 health tricky always drops right in front here, so you can always go for the axe strat. So that's, that's pretty helpful. Um, but yeah, that's it. it he, and then he smokes, so it makes it harder for you to go for anything to whittle down his health. So essentially, you just go for that that half health right there on the first turn. You flash it, and uh, with them stunned, you just you pray. You hope you don't get blown up by any clowns, and you hope you have your melee. -ers. 
Alright, so he's dead. But that doesn't matter because he doesn't use melee. So, uh, then we're gonna flash again because we can't really do anything. Alright, and then uh, this one is... This tricky is another tricky with 12 health. So what we're going to do is, um, it doesn't matter if you shoot him before, he just, this tricky needs to be finished off with the melee weapon. So you can do this, and then melee weapon, and then it does the same amount of damage, and you only had to use 4 AP. The The energy bar is is what dictates all, so don't, don't worry about it. So we're going to move over here, just going to hope that he can move next turn, and if he can move next turn, we can end the fight. All right, and we cannot. So we're gonna flash again. No Bren gun shenanigans. And there we go. Simple as that. It's uh, it's a fight that seems very tricky on on the surface, uh, on the surface to uh, a newer player. But it is absolutely simple. Like once you just have it down. Did you see how little those? Uh, those, uh, attack mask, like, jacket guys, like, did. It's, you end up flashing every turn anyway, uh, just to make sure that you don't get clowned out, so. Um, might as well not bother and wasting your time on a 128 health sponge. So, we are gonna, I'm gonna walk you guys through a, uh, just fast fight, uh, just because. Uh, I'd like to demonstrate pretty much at, at, at full speed, like the thought processes and processes and strategies. So let's uh, let's do that. So, um, sorry, I had uh, meta equipment on. So let me, or well, new meta. Let me just do that. Let me let me just downgrade real quick. All right, and let me uh, let's let's get this real time demonstration started. So. Easy click on Sanford. Hook three times. He's gonna drop me back here and drop up front. Move back to this base here. Take out Axe. Go for the seven swings. Got it on the second one. That's pretty lucky. Uh, I would actually go for it again if the clown wasn't blocking it. So, there you go. Alright, he can actually move, but Sanford can't, so I'm just going to chill out for a second. Right, what we're actually going to do is we're going to take a little bit of a risk. And it paid off. It paid off, but just barely. That was, uh, that was very close to being terrible. If even that singular shot before with the shotgun had hit, uh, he would be very dead. See, that's, that's what I mean about the randomness of, uh, flashbangs and that, that big 128 health pool of enemies. It's, it's, it can add risk, but it's just so much faster than actually dealing with them. It, it just takes way too much time. So, that's it, actually. That's that's all you need to know. Like, or just remember 12 health, then 5 health, 12 health, 12 health. So, like, uh, just make sure that you're doing, doing damage with minimal AP spending and then finishing it with a melee hit. Um... Remember that you can go for the Axe Strat. The Axe Strat is very fast. One turn, half the health bar is is huge. And um, that's that's about it, you know? It's it's not all that tough. Just space around the, the hazards. Uh, make sure you have a flash for every turn, and uh, you'll be all set. So, um, thanks for tuning in to part 11, uh, next part, part 12, we're gonna do some, uh, reverse, we're gonna, we're gonna reverse, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna change gears real quick, we're gonna head 
through here, we're going to head back through here, and we're going to head down here and get a little secret that we missed earlier on purpose because it didn't make sense for us to get it at the time. So, there we go. That's that's the tricky fight. Thanks for tuning in to uh, the split, and uh, happy running. You're, you're really getting there.